welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Filament Health's channel, supporting the treatment of mental health with psychedelics, forefronting the industry. Joining us today, Chief Executive Officer Ben Lightburn. Welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure, man. Happy New Year. And we got to kick this off because you guys have already been dropping uh, some pretty fabulous news coming to the beginning of the year. I mean, Filament Health announces approval from Health Canada for phase two trials administrating psilocybin and microdosing uh, formulation. Do you want to kind of break this news down for us? Yeah, so this is a trial we've obviously been working on for a while in partnership with the University of Toronto. Um, interestingly, it's actually an academic and philanthropic uh, sponsored, sponsored trial. We're providing them a novel formulation of our existing 25 milligram psilocybin botanical drug candidate, which we've reformulated into a microdosing um, uh, formulation. So it's a one milligram tablet. In the trial, the participants will take two milligrams every couple of days and it will be placebo controlled. So there's a, it, it's really exciting because there's a lot of question marks out there about whether microdosing is effective. Um, so far, the evidence is mixed, but also so far, the evidence is generally not of a super high quality. Um, so we're, we're very excited about this trial to potentially prove uh, some of the therapeutic effects uh, of microdosing and of course using our natural formulation allows the research to more closely mimic what people microdose with on a, on a daily basis. The anecdotal evidence out there, people widely report that microdosing helps them. So what we're trying to do is, is find scientific evidence um, uh, in support of what they're saying anecdotally. The other couple of key milestones that this, this clinical trial authorization represents uh, it's the first uh, Canadian authorization. Um, obviously, Canada is a, an important uh, hub for psychedelics research right now. So we're, we're excited to, to be part of that now. Um, and it's also a phase two trial. If, if, if you remember, our last authorization from the FDA uh, was for a phase one trial. So now we can say that our products have successfully uh, gained approval to enter into a phase two trial. So all, all of that very, very exciting news. We, I think we continue to execute on a, a lot of, lot of really interesting milestones, even, yep. even over the holidays, which is when we were working on this one. Yeah. I think we were joking about it uh, prior to see just the sign up list of people that are probably likely to want to be on that trial list, but uh, coming into uh, the beginning of this year, before we roll back a little bit, um, are there other stuff that coming down your pipeline here? Is there any Q1 expectations that you can just offer here outside of this trial? For sure. Uh, we're, we're expecting to begin dosing in the phase one trial that received um, uh, authorization from the FDA at the end of last year. Um, just as a refresher, this will be the first time that there will be any naturally sourced psychedelic drug candidates administered in an FDA approved clinical trial. So that's something we're very excited and, 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 and proud to have accomplished and excited to uh, look forward to the, to, the, to the news of the dosing beginning, um, as well as this trial is going to be the first trial to directly administer a compound called psilocin. Psilocin is the active form of psilocybin, and by administering it directly, we think that we're going to be able to prove certain advantages over psilocybin. Um, we'll have more data about that as, as this year progresses. Hopefully by the end of this year, uh, we should have some pretty good uh, psilocybin versus psilocin data. Um, we're also planning to add um, uh, more products to our clinical development pipeline. We're also planning to announce uh, more clinical trial uh, sponsorships with, um, with commercial companies who uh, will pay us um, um, revenue generating royalty milestone payments. So a lot of, lot of really good things in the hopper. Uh, I encourage everyone to stay tuned. Yeah, I, uh, I really look forward to this as well. I mean, let's back roll just a little bit here. What you mentioned, I think, is the most prevalent coming into the beginning of this year and toward the end of last year. But as you looked at Filament Health kind of evolved through 2021, were there just any major critical moments that kind of just really stuck out to you? Any like little anecdotes that you can offer to uh, the retail audience here about some milestones that were reached? I, I recently wrote a year end letter to our shareholders and I reflected on where we were at the beginning of 2021 and where we are at the beginning of 2022. Um, at the beginning of 2021, we had just done our first seed financing. Uh, we had 800 grand in the bank. Uh, we had no facility. We had no license. We had no GMP. We had no clinical trials. We had no clinical trial candidates. Uh, we had a small team of two or three people at that time. Um, over the course, no patents, 
Over the course of, of, of 2021, however, all that changed, right? We have a, now an industry leading facility, GMP capable of manufacturing all controlled natural psychedelics. We've begun to receive issued patents on our, on our manufacturing technologies. Um, and we're, we're proud to now have the very first um, uh, natural psychedelic drug candidates. Uh, the first ones uh, directly to administer solosin, um, an actual approval from multiple jurisdictions to, to enter those into, into clinical trials. So the, you know, if we can manage to maintain the frenetic pace of, of uh, advancement that we did from 2021 into 2022, uh, I think the, the, the sky's the limit um, because we believe in the power of, of natural substance and the power of all psychedelics to help treat uh, many serious mental health uh, concerns. Truly pivotal stuff. I really appreciate this, Ben. Thanks for your time today. Very welcome. Anytime. And on that note, folks, if you have any questions about the forefronting of the psychedelic industry, always let us know what you think in that comment section below, and we could perhaps bring it up uh, to Ben at a later date. But in light of this, consider subscribing for those future updates. Stay cool, stay awesome, and I look forward to catching you in the next one. Mm -hmm.